The five things that I'm gonna to talk to you about in this video that helped me feel better about myself and my style took me about nine years to learn, but I'll explain them to you in under nine minutes. So if you've got negative feelings towards your style or you're feeling a little bit lost, then this one's for you. Now I'm sure you already know it's never a good idea to compare yourself to others. We already know this, and especially to others online, but we do it anyway. Most of us, including myself, get most of our inspiration from others online, and those people are usually influencers. Now there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're just getting inspiration from them. But as soon as you start comparing yourself with them, that's where it all goes wrong. You've got to remember that most people online are putting across an idealized version of themselves, and their outfits are carefully put together for social media. Sure, they might look good in their outfit, but it might not be practical for everyday life. Influencers also receive a lot of their clothing from brands, so they have easier access to more luxurious or expensive clothing. So if you start comparing your wardrobe to an influencer's wardrobe, you might feel dissatisfied with what you've got. And if you're looking to places like the Met Gala for everyday look inspiration, then I'd recommend that you probably look elsewhere. Imagine popping to the shops to get more milk in that. You also need to remember that the people you're looking up to are probably comparing themselves to other people as well well, and they might not be happy with their wardrobe, the one you're jealous of. And if you start to copy others too closely, then you'll lose your own personal style, and you don't want that. It's definitely easier said than done, and I've got to be honest, I still find myself comparing myself to others. It doesn't do me any good, and when I catch myself doing it, I have to remind myself to stop. My wardrobe's what makes me me, and it's evolving with me and growing with me. And I mean that in a metaphorical sense. My aim isn't just to have a massive wardrobe full of loads and loads of clothing. That's not what I mean, but hopefully you get what I mean. I've forgotten what I even mean now, let's move on. If you try and dress in a way to try and please everyone else, then you'll probably end up pleasing, well, the same amount of people that you would have pleased if you just dressed the way you wanted to dress. Everyone's got their own taste when it comes to fashion, so trying to cater to everyone's opinions is impossible. What one person may love and find stylish, another might think is absolutely gross, and it might even make them feel violently sick. You have to remember that fashion is subjective, so if you try and please everyone, you'll end up losing yourself. And if you're dressing for yourself and expressing yourself through your clothing, then it's coming from a real place, and that's the best thing you can do in my opinion. Unless you're wearing spray-on skinny jeans, then don't do that, they're awful. Of course, I'm only joking, don't ever listen to anyone who tells you you can't wear something. Remember, style is subjective. And just a side note on skinny jeans, they will have their time again, and all you haters hating on them now, you'll be loving them again when they're back on trend. Mark my words. And talking about loving things, if you're loving this video, well, loving might be a little bit ambitious, but if you're liking this video, then please do leave it a like. It's much appreciated. If you get negative comments about your style, then you need to learn to not take it to heart. It's definitely easier said than done, as our style is an extension of ourselves, so it's like someone's taking a personal attack at you. But think about what I'm about to tell you next the next time it happens, and hopefully it will help you out a bit. So no one who's happy and comfortable in their own style is going out their way to make negative comments about other people's style. The reason they're doing it is because they're insecure about their own style and they want to bring others down to make themselves feel better. Name one well-dressed person that you follow who goes out of their way to put other people down about their style. I bet you can't. And while we're here, name one well-dressed person that doesn't get negative comments about their style. Again, I bet you can't. The people who stand out for dressing well are often the people who get the most negative comments about their style because a lot of people are jealous of them. Even ASAP Rocky, who's voted as having one of the best styles in the world, he gets his outfits slagged off all the time by loads of people. And does he listen to them? Well, I don't know. I don't know ASAP Rocky on a personal level, but I highly doubt it. But yeah, the last people you should be listening to for style advice are the ones who are going out of their way to put your style down. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, we're always comparing ourselves to others. As I said, even your favorite influencer, they're probably comparing themselves to someone else and it feels like everyone's trying to outdo each other at the moment. No one wants to think of their style as trash or average or mid or whatever the kids are saying these days. So everyone's trying to one-up each other so they're not seen as one of the boring ones. If you're not wearing big red boots or a cone on your head, then do you even fashion, bro? Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with 
with being adventurous with your style, I love to see it, but there's also nothing wrong with keeping things simple too. When simplicity's done well, it's really hard to beat in my opinion, so if you don't like wearing really loud pieces or big statement pieces, then you don't have to. Now I hear this one all the time, but people think the more money you have, the better your style's gonna be. And that's not the case. And all the money in the world isn't gonna put a stop to any of the problems that we've talked about so far in this video. Okay, apart from one, you will be able to buy more clothes than your favorite influencer, but that's not a good thing. If you're someone who always compares yourself to others, then no amount of money is gonna stop that. And if you say, yes, it will, because if I have all the money I want, then I'll be able to do anything or buy anything, you'll still find a way to compare yourself to other people. Money isn't gonna suddenly make everyone like your style either. Just look at Ronaldo. A lot of people don't like his style and he's got more money than he'd ever need for clothing. And the more money you've got, the more negative comments you're probably going to get about your style as well. Having a style or wardrobe that you're happy with is all achieved by having the right mindset. Your style is always changing, it's always evolving with you throughout your life. So if your end goal is to have the perfect wardrobe, then you'll always be disappointed. All you can do is do what feels right to you now and enjoy it. If you enjoyed this one or it helps you out, please do leave the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later. Bye.